many different ways in which we can find new ideas, but one way easy way to find ideas and new solutions is actually to talk to other people that um, are looking at the same thing, but possibly with a different perspective or with a different type of experience. What we believe in is entrepreneurial innovation. And of course, competition, the achievement principle, risk taking, and embracing, of course, individual freedom and also entrepreneurial freedom. And I think these are the preconditions for a good business location and for economies to grow. Uh, ABL Powertrain is an expert partner to the global automotive and mobility industry. Matthias, why is the UK a key growth market for your organisation and where do you see the major opportunities for your business going forward? How, why did we start in the UK? Let's make it really crystal clear. A company only goes to another country when you make money. Yeah? It's all these wonderful talks are always good, but we are in the industry where we have to make money. Nobody goes into a country to lose money. So first, you need a market where they need your products, your, your, your knowledge. Second is, you need people who execute it for you, and the margin has to be right. Uh, actually, there were three reasons to go to London. It was uh, London, London, and London. <laughs> Peter, the Zumtobel Group operates in an extremely dynamic and highly competitive and challenging global market. What would you say are the key challenges for your business and what are the strategies for overcoming these in the UK? I think the biggest uh, challenge currently is uh, globalization uh, together with the technological change in our, in our industry. We expand our, um, uh, our radius and our business globally. We are now the US, we are in, uh, in Asia as well. Very interesting makeup on the expert panel. Um, some very interesting comments about, um, if you like, the perceptions of, a, of, of Austrian companies or overseas, other European companies setting up in the UK. I really enjoyed this event. I must say, I was surprised. I didn't expect to have here such a density of entrepreneurs. If that was actually the aim of the event, I think the really that you have reached the goal. And I, I never expected that the embassy, which is not normally seen as probably a more conventional institution, actually tries to encourage and nourish such an atmosphere and bring together people that help on the institutional level together with entrepreneurs. I didn't expect that and that really actually makes me happy and I'm thankful that I have been here and I have got this information because that helps and it brings companies forward.